not exactly opening day, but it is for me. I actually got up a little late this morning. I'm heading down to the cabin. I'm going to jump up in the tree stand and see if anything comes my way. It's dark out right now, but I should be rolling in around first light. Like I said, I got a bit of a late start, which kind of stinks. And it's also ironic because I usually wake up at 3 o'clock every morning. But not the morning that I want to wake up. Strange, huh? Haven't been back through here since last season. It's all overgrown. stand but I never did. There she is. Roosters growing, but there's a lot of them up there growing. I got a late start this morning. It's about quarter after seven, 69 degrees. I didn't even get dressed up with all my camo and stuff. Just thought I'd sit out here and give it a shot. My buddy Jeff is posted up about 100 yards away to my right. Maybe we'll see something come across our path. road held up pretty well down here. No major ruts, even though we had all that rain last week from Hermine. Not bad. Like I said, I'm gonna continue to build it up over time and hopefully, hopefully it's gonna make it decent. I'm gonna get out of the way here. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Olympic shot put. <laughs> Am I gonna get a try at this? I'm afraid that thing's gonna come off and hit me in the face. Oh, almost. Almost.
Call. She was a good idea? Yeah. All right. Could have went much worse. Well, guess what I'm doing now. I told you guys that I had an issue with my solar, with my solar system. When I plug in the air conditioner, it seems to be drawing an awful lot of power, and it's it was overheating my wires, and it was actually melting. And I'll show that to you hopefully here in the next clip or in a future clip here in the same video. It's actually melting the fuse the inline fuse. So what I did was I went out and I bought this welding wire and I bought some lugs and it came in a nifty little package and I'll put links to it in the uh, show notes there in the description if you guys are interested in getting this. Uh, it's 2 watt wire so 2 slash 0 wire and it's supposed to be able to handle pretty much anything I'll throw at it with my system. I also got this neat little uh, hammer crimper that was one of my issues in the past is I didn't have a good crimper so I just put these together the lugs are on there nice and tight and I thought you know what let me grab a clip of this so I'll set up the GoPro and show you how I'm gonna do the black wire okay so here we are I'm gonna go ahead and take this wire out of the plastic that it was in and I'm gonna go ahead and take the lugs Kind of get an idea how far I got to cut back. Right about there should work. You want to be careful not to cut the stranded wire. Do the best you can. If you mess up too bad and cut too many of those off, you're going to want to start over. On the red one, I was lucky and didn't mess anything up. We'll see how I do here on a black wire. Now that I'm filming it, who knows? Okay. Okay. Now I gotta try to get it all inside there. Hope that's showing up on the camera okay, guys. I hope, I hope. Okay. All right, now this is kind of neat. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right or not, but it seemed to work okay on the last two that I did, so I'll go for it. I should be on something more solid because there's some give to this carpet and wood floor, but I'm doing this inside, so here it goes. All right. Good. Pretty good crimp right there. Yep, it's on there tight. Now, I don't actually need 10 feet of this stuff, but I don't know, but what, but. And you know, they sent you five of these, which is weird. I wish they did it in pairs. It doesn't make any sense that they sent five lugs, but this is what they do. I'm going to just keep the wires whole and do the next one and I'll bring you back when I'm done.
don't know if you can see that back there. I know the lighting is not good, but that's a look at my battery bank. It's a hodgepodge of 12 volt batteries. Okay, moment of truth. I got a piece of tape over the light there because it's bright at night. Hey, she's alive. Right, some of you asked me uh, what kind of voltage I was getting out of here. I don't know if you can see that. It's 117 and a half, we'll call it. One seventeen point seven. All right, good deal. So let me show you I mean, if you want to laugh, maybe cry. I mean, this was actually very dangerous. And I don't want any guff, guys. I know I should have changed this a while ago, but I just now got the wire. It should have been more top priority, but check this out. Look at this. The wire melted. The, this is a 100 amp fuse right here, guys. The whole holder just melted and broke apart on me. The fuse never went out. Fuse is still good, but I bought some breakers. I bought some, uh, I think they're 60 amp breakers, and they should be in here in the next couple of weeks, and I'm going to install those right in line. Instead of fuses, I'm going to use breakers. That way I have an on-off, and I can really isolate the system. I'm going to install two different breakers. So, like I was just saying, I'm going to install breakers, and I'm going to put one coming in from the solar panels before it gets into the charge controller, so that way I can shut it right off at the breaker and I'm going to have one coming out of the batteries before it gets to the inverter. That way I can shut it off right there if I need to. Uh, again, I think they're 60 amp, maybe they're 80 amp, I don't know, but it's less than the 100 amp that I have there now. And hopefully this wire is going to be able to better carry the current than this hunk of junk. Now, I'll tell you, I got this stuff from Harbor Freight. Oh, God, it's, it's nasty, it's corroded. I got this stuff from Harbor Freight. Uh, I think it was six foot of positive, six foot of negative, and it was rated to carry 300 amps. And that should be DC because it's it's sold as automotive battery cable. So this should have been more than enough to do what I needed to do, but it apparently wasn't. There's no way I was putting forth more than 100 amps because it would have fried the fuse. Instead, it melted the wire. So. Shame on them, this stuff kind of is garbage for at least for the purposes of what I'm using it for. And believe me guys, this, um, I was going to turn around and show it to you, but you know what a window air conditioner looks like. It only draws about 550 watts of power. So when I was drawing that through there in a couple of lights, less than 600 watts of power and this thing would start to cook. So beware fellas and fellettes. I just look at the corrosion on there. I mean, this was a nightmare waiting to happen, a fire waiting to happen. Uh, you know, I always shut it down. I always turn it, turn off the whole system before I leave. But, you know, I don't want to be here when it burns down either. I just don't want it to burn down, period. So look at that nightmare waiting to happen right there, guys. So, guys, just to show you what I'm looking at here on the wire, it's 2 AUG, 300 amp. I wasn't kidding. Now what I got was 2 slash 0, so it's uh, 2 watt. I think that's the right way you say it. But it is thicker, it's better than this wire, and uh, I think it's going to do the job. So remember, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I will have it linked in the description below. Thanks for the support. You know, I realize sometimes I don't take things as seriously as I should, especially when it comes to the solar equipment. Uh, let's face it guys, this stuff can kill you. I mean, I'm playing with fire scarecrow, capiche? And I should have got to that way sooner than I did. It was kind of in the back of my mind the last two, four or five months. I, I discovered that probably uh, three, four months ago, something like that. Three to five months, somewhere there. And 
I knew I had to do something to it, but I stopped using the air conditioner. I only use the air conditioner on the generator. So, you know, I'm only I'm only drawing at any one time in here 100 watts or whatever, and that, that wire was fine. So I melted it that first time, and then it was okay. Like, I didn't generate that kind of heat, so I wasn't that concerned. But that being said, I'm going to try tomorrow, and the whole idea is I'd like to run the air conditioner off the solar when it's sunny out. So it's going down right now. The sun's going down. I'm not generating any real power right now. It's, I don't know, 6.30 at night. So I'll try it tomorrow morning when the sun's coming up, maybe 8, 9, 10 o'clock, somewhere in there. And I'll report back to you. I'll check the wires, see what kind of heat I'm getting, and hopefully we're good. The bees look okay, I guess. Looks like they're trying to drag out all the beetles <laughs> that are caught up on that dryer sheet. That's what it looks like they're doing right there, guys. I'm going to let them have at it and back out of the way so I don't get stung in the face like last time. A good Sunday morning, September 11th. Yeah, guys, that's right. 15 years ago today. Seems like a lifetime ago, and it seems like yesterday all at the same time. I won't get into the politics of it here in this video. But I'll probably talk about it on my live stream. One of those days that you're always going to remember where you were when it happened, and you'll probably never forget it. I'm just coming back and giving one more look at the beehive here. They look like they're doing splendid. Thank goodness. You know, I was nervous about the spraying, but man, they're just shooting out of that hive. Shooting out of there. So I'm anxious to get back in there, but I didn't have my gloves. I forgot my gloves at home because I brought everything home to wash it. Thanks just to get in there. I got a little beetle treatment that I'm going to use and uh, just check on the general welfare of the hive, make sure that it's strong enough for winter. Based on the activity I'm seeing here, it looks good, but you know, you don't know until you get inside the hive. But anyway, that's it for this video, I think. Thanks for coming along for another overnight adventure. And I think in the next couple of weeks here, I'm going to start ramping up and getting some real projects done. So keep an eye out. <laughs>